Okay, this video is in this video we're gonna talk about uh, um, fix the current version of Apex for the pre-infusion uh, issue. Basically, we need to uh, swap a control board. Um, uh, this is the back of the Apex machine. Basically, I need to uh, take the, this back panel off. Um, there were six screws right here. I already take off five, so basically just unscrew it. Okay, and lift up. You can expose the back sides. Um, um, this is the new board. Basically, we need to swap this guy with the new one. So, a good thing is just maybe using um, your cell phone, take a photo of it, and then you know which connector will connect to to which connect which plug. So you don't mis misconnect those. But at the same time, I will post the photo of this uh, connectors at uh, this um, photo, so you don't have to uh, take it yourself. But the thing to do is take off these two, um, the blue cable and the red cable. Um, okay, take off this. Um, pull pull the sleeves over. Okay. Uh, it is a little bit tricky. I'm going to use a pin here. Um, basically, put it in the push. There is a push, push this thing and then pull out. Let me show you again in detail. So this, this, this pin here, basically push it and then pull out. Um, similar thing for this as well. Pull the sleeves over. Push and pull out. Okay, the red one is up and uh, this coffee color one is the bottom. Okay, there are three screws on the corner. Uh, let's take off, take off these one by one. Slide the ball a little bit over. So take off this plug. There is a grooves here to I think the manufacturer put those uh, so that it won't slip out easily. So basically, I will use use a heat gun, heat it up, and then remove these grooves. should be able to remove it and then you can just unplug this key so, okay now this one is off um, there was a bunch of bunch of plugs over here the similar same I'm gonna use heat gun to heat up Okay, so now this is off. I'm gonna replace this with the new one. This is the new one. So basically, I'll start from here. Plug this cable in. Okay, at this time, I'm going to cut 
Now to just push those plugs in and make sure they are fully connected. Um, I think the red is on the top. Just push it in. Finalize these two. Okay, now it's fully connected. Okay, now we replace the board. Uh, before we put put back the panel, the back panel. Um, this little bit. We can just quickly test it, make sure it's working. Uh, reach to the warm up, the light um, temperature. Uh, let's try to set the pre-infusion sink it's, um this button. Uh, this button is set. The, let's try to seven seconds. This is the water amount for the pre-infusion, and press sink is the minus. Let's do three seconds. Okay. So seven seconds of water amount, and then a seven seconds of water amount, and a three seconds of hold. Um, okay. Let's set up the the timer. Okay. Let's set up the. This timer for the for the auto mode. I'm gonna try. I don't know, fifty seconds. Now I set uh, this auto timer to. To be 50 seconds. I don't. I don't think I need 50 seconds. Um, let's wait it, the temperature to be back and uh, make a shot. Okay, this is 18 grams coffee. Let's go start it. So we're gonna have seven seconds of water pouring through the puck and then hold for three seconds and then it will start the normal shot see the pressure ramps up I'm gonna start this timer right here so basically 35 seconds of coffee going out and 23 seconds so it's pretty much all right on time. So 